I have a lot of notebooks. Maybe too many notebooks, <laughs> considering I don't write in them a lot. <laughs> 15-year-old Zephyr Walters is a creative who loves their notebooks and novelty pens. Octopuses, dinosaurs. The Heritage Woods secondary student got the chance to perform an original poem as part of a team presentation on charities, and they were competing for grant money. Zephyr drew from their own experiences and the violence faced by their peers. I know a girl whose safety was never a right, it was a gift. Her body was never a right, it was a gift. It's called I Know a Girl, and it is about basically um, how common abuse is. I'm trying to talk about so many different girls that experience abuse, how it affects them in the moment, how it affects them later on in life. Zephyr and their classmates won $1,000 for their presentation and they put it towards the Battered Women Support Services, which supports survivors of violence, including teenagers. We don't pay enough attention to what happens to high school youth, in particular girls and non-binary youth, and the kinds of gender-based violence that they experience in high school. The Canadian Federation of Students says many sexual assaults at university happen during the first eight weeks of class. For people in high school, Angela Marie McDougall says abuse can start much closer to home. For most gender-based violence, it happens not with strangers, but with people that we know. And so the family can be a place of resource, but can also be a place of risk. Zephyr didn't think it was possible for them to shine a spotlight on gender-based violence with their art. And one day, they want to volunteer for BWSS and other charities. It's very close to my heart, what they're doing. And I, I'm just a kid, right? And I didn't think that I would be able to do something like this. Zephyr's full poem will be available on the Battered Women's Support Services website in Port Moody, Kier Junos, City News.